What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on my videos and watching them. Your support means so much to me. And today's video, I got I got new modifications sitting back there in that box. It is the JLT cold air intake. And man, it was a mission to get this 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 intake because I live out here in California and I've probably tried ordering this intake three times already from different websites and both those three times it got canceled why because of california regulations this this mod right here is basically illegal out here and when i was ordering it from what website was it american muscle i had to click that it was um gonna be put on a vehicle that was not not to be driven on the street so basically like just a vehicle that's sitting somewhere <laughs> And so, yeah, I, I'm so happy I finally got this intake just because, yeah, I, I do have the Hellcat Airbox, but I've been seeing seeing and hearing reviews and people that have this intake saying that they felt felt a difference between a, a stock Hellcat Airbox and the JLT cold air intake. There's also videos of like dyno runs where they gain a few horsepower. I would say like five to 10, but realistically i'm i'm thinking more like five horsepower but we're gonna see so i'm just gonna add go to my friend's house to help me install the cold air intake because i'm not i'm not car savvy okay i don't know what the fuck i'm doing in my car sometimes so i'm not a mechanic and the few things that i have been able to do to my car by myself is thanks to youtube i, I watch other people's vi youtube videos but i don't have the tools to to remove the the air box and install this so my friends can help me out with that so i'll see you guys over there so my car is already warmed up and at idling this is the temperature 86 84 it, it jumps up and down but that's usually the the temperature when it's idling so i'm gonna get on the freeway and i'll show you guys the the temperature when i'm on the freeway and then i'll do a comparison with the uh the jlt intake Okay, so I'm on the freeway right now, just cruising, and the temperature dropped down to 68 degrees. So I'm guessing that's that's like the regular with the Hellcat airbox. So we'll see if the JLT intake makes a difference, drops it lower or something. I'm here with my boy Beto. He's the one who's who helps me install my car parts. Don't look at my dirty trunk. Nah, we're gonna look at those sexy ass uh, carbon fiber fenders. Look at that. Sheesh. And that is real carbon fiber. Let's see the other side. <clears throat> nice. And it's got vents. It makes the front a little bit wider. Nice. So American Muscle didn't have the red filter, so I got the blue filter. I haven't even taken shit out of the box. Hello, new intake. Buy old intake. Damn, that's good. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a show car now. You can pop the hood. <laughs> Oh, I get a sticker. That's, that's the important part. The not sticker. The, not the horsepower. No, just the, just sticker. the sticker. The sticker is what makes it worth it. Mm. It's a mystery box. 
And the color is blue. blue. You want to switch? I got a red one. Oh, I like this one. This one's brand new. I mean, I can claim mine. Ooh, that popping noise. That was nice. Um, what the uh, intake? Oh yeah, it's real easy. Simple tools. Yeah, like the air box is pretty. Well, at least that's pretty simple because it just drop in. The bitch was to to add the uh, the actual tube because you need to take off the bumper for that. Oh. Cause, Cause the tube connected right there. Yep. Disconnect it. Oh, I have no idea. Nope, it's not gonna come out. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, no. I'll take this out. Whatever. So it's not coming out because of the the Hell Hellcat tube right there. So you probably gotta unbolt that to be able to move that a little bit to the side. Take it up. His little, his little um, energy drink. Yep, my crack. Crack. So yeah, it was hard to take it out because of the Hellcat tube right there. Even while moving this off to the side, it's probably gonna be hard to put that one in. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Just a tad bit. Yeah. It's a big boy. I don't know if you're... Nice. This, this isn't a stick out like a sore thumb, man. No? Oh, that's fine. That's how it is on in Hellcats. So it should essentially be the same. Jesus. Almost. Yeah, that's, that's a big boy right there. Big boy, big horsepower. That's coming from someone who has a big boy JLT intake, too. <laughs> what are those colors? Big boy intake. That one's dirty as fuck. Ooh. What? You get a carb sticker? But it's not carb legal. That's the funny thing. Apparently it is. <clears throat> so that's weird. Cause it get it it made me choose the option of that it's like for a vehicle that's not gonna be on the road. Like I had to click on that box in order to order it. Fuck it. That's weird. Now you can be smog legal even though you're too. So kinda legal? <laughs> kinda legal. Semi legal. Legal enough. <laughs> it's funny. That's a tight fit. That's extremely tight fit. One way to find out. Oh yeah, even in the picture it's it's pretty tight.
saturated later on. When it's all dirty too. When it's all dirty. That way it'll be fair. <laughs> Trade for a dirty used one. To meats, bro, you gotta have a clean engine bay. Which is dirty as fuck. I mean, like, organized and. Oh. <laughs> nothing but clean builds here. It's all stock. My <laughs> engine bay is stock. That's, that's all stock right there. Voila, complete. It's gonna stick down more. I feel like it's gonna hit the hood. No. I mean, cause on here it looks it looks flush. Yeah. Makes sense. A little magic. That's what I would don't oh, really like. Yeah. She's gonna be open. So if you do have it flush. It's weird because it says flush on here. Whoa. Hey pups. Buenos dias. <laughs> Buenos dias. Sell this. You're like, who wants a dirty pan in No, I think I'm gonna just keep it in case like I ever throw it back to stock for whatever reason. Yeah. Well, more more car parts to keep around. suction noise when you turned it off. Ooh, ooh. Well thank you Beto for helping me install the cold air intake. Yep. Now I got like what 50 horsepower added onto it. Find out with that dyno. Damn I need to I need to get this shit dynoed. If you guys know any dynos in the Bay Area let me know because I've been horrible at looking it up and yeah just let me know. All right, so with the JLT intake, this is where it's at at idle. So I'm gonna jump on the freeway right now just to see how low it goes compared to the stock Hellcatter box. Okay, so I'm just driving, cruising normal, driving normally on the freeway, and it's dropped down to 73. At one point it did drop down to 71, but, oh look, there's 71. So it looks like that's the average when you're just driving normal. Not too bad. Got to look back on, on the video of the Hellcat airbox. I can't remember what it dropped down to. It's not bad. All right, so I've, I didn't record this, but at one point it did drop down to 68 degrees, which is about the same as the Hellcat airbox. I went back and looked at my videos. So temperature-wise, it, it's about the same, except at idle, the JLT intake does run hotter. But once you start moving, it, it cools down faster. That That's what I noticed. So is it... um. Is it worth buying? Not too sure. I haven't, I didn't really speed on it. It was just like normal cruising. There was traffic, so I can't really speed. At least I don't like speeding when there's traffic. <laughs> but it does make the engine bay look nicer. So I guess you can buy it just to make it your engine bay look nicer. And then it, you do, you, like it sounds totally different when you rev it. Because you can hear the, the cold air intake suctioning all the air so that sounds cool horsepower wise not too sure just yet but it, it, it is it is a good buy you know just you buy something to for for horsepower to modify your car and it's always a good feeling it's always a good feeling when you're modifying your car so you can buy for that <laughs> 
But anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll try to come out with more videos. Till next time.